it was really really great from the beginning. He should probably come to Pittsburgh because he played when it's the place the only place he plays like that. So I don't know I don't know what it is, but he uh, he was really good. Um, I thought that uh, you know Elijah controlled the game for us. He was really good. But overall our defense was better than it's been. We were better in the perimeter, better inside. Um, you know, we rebound the ball well. But uh, I thought Bryson came in and did a you know really good job. Uh, you know, he's I think without the goggles, this is the first day he's really played without them. And I think that makes a difference. I thought we really played well for 35 minutes, 30 whatever, and then we just finished the game very poorly. But, you know, that's uh, something we can do something about. But uh, spacing was good, ball movement was good, Elijah was really good, he made a lot of plays, and uh, uh, Barama was, was really good. It was a really good win. And uh, we've had a couple of good days of practice, so, I mean, it was you know, the way we've been playing in practice, so it was good. Did Buddy turn an ankle? He's turned an ankle. He's not. It's not nothing wrong. It's a sprained ankle. When you guys played in the Carrier Dome back in January, Pitt made a second half run to make yeah. things closer after going down by a lot. What changed coming in this second yeah, half? Yeah, they hurt us inside and they made some shots uh, against us in the second half. Uh, and uh, we didn't have this, we, we weren't playing as well, I think, offensively at that point in time. I think we're playing better offensively now. Um, you know, we haven't shot it well in a long time. And this game could have gotten close, but, you know, Joe makes those three threes. And, you know, we haven't been making those shots. And, uh, you know, we, we just haven't been shooting well from the three. And I thought in the first half, Elijah hit a couple, and Joe missed his. We missed our first five, I think, wide open. And then, you know, we were eight for some 16 or 17 after that. So it helps when we make some of those and, uh, you know, it makes a difference. Bryson had a nice one, Joe hit some. Um, and uh, that makes a big difference in what happens. Uh, Marek made some good plays. He couldn't finish. He just couldn't finish in there. And he, he had a lot of good opportunity that he just couldn't finish anything. And Quincy is still puts his head down and if a guy waits there, he, he would charge every time. So it's something he's got to learn and uh, he's not making progress in that area at all right now. So we got to keep working on that. We've, we've got to get better. When the first game was better for the carry down, Elijah only had 10. What was the difference tonight for him? He was just good from the beginning. He was really, he hasn't been shooting it well and when he makes some shots, uh, he's hard to defend because you got to get up on him and he gets by people. Um, he was really good tonight. I mean, he's as good as, as anybody. You know, he, he's had a great year. He's playing great basketball. How far along has Joe's passing come from the beginning of the season to now? It was good until the end. He made four turnovers in the last five minutes, so I think he could improve on that. It's awful. It's the worst way to describe it. When it comes to rebuilding a program like Jeff is trying to do, when you go through a rough patch like they're going through right now, it's just a matter of sticking with your convictions, getting through whatever little storm comes up in a season and applying your principles? You know, they played a lot of good basketball this year. They beat Florida State. They, beat, they played a lot of good basketball. Tonight, they you know, they just didn't, couldn't make anything. You know, when that happens, the game's no good. It's hard to play the game. You don't make things. They were making threes, but they were missing inside shots. They were missing pretty easy shots. And uh, when that happens, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. It takes time. They have a lot of young players. Their freshman is as good as any freshman in the league. You know, their guards are still, you know, their sophomores, they're going to be really good players. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't happen overnight. They were, to say they were rock bottom isn't even a close, close approximation of where they were when Jerry took over. They were below that. Coach, coming in tonight, you guys ranked 187th in points allowed, but you really stifled fit all day long with that defense. What was the difference today? We were better, a little bit more active, I thought, and they missed some shots. It was a combination, really. But we, we were much better. We got some steals. Barama blocked some shots. And, you know, he's got four blocks and five steals, and those have been points. <laughs> those have been points. That's, those have been 10 points or 12 points. And he, when he plays like that, it, we're, we're obviously a, a, a much, much better team. You know, 
He was really good tonight. Coach, looking ahead to Saturday, um, I'm sure it'll be fun to have John Wallace. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, he's one of the pivotal guys in the program, in our history, in our program. Uh, he was uh, almost single-handedly <coughs> took a team to the final game. And, uh, he, was, he was a great, great player for us. And uh, you know, time, his time has, has come. Elijah was so good tonight. He's been so consistent all year. Why do you think he's not getting more attention for conference player? Or? I don't talk about him now. Ignorance, I can't help it. <laughs> If you watch, you know. If you don't watch, you don't know. <laughs> it's not the points. He's if, what, four, five rebounds a game, four assists a game, something like that. I don't know. Um, you know, it's, I, you know I, Joe had 52 points in a week and didn't get freshman of the week. So I, mean, I can't help. I don't know who's voting on these things. People that don't watch basketball and don't know anything about it. Or are prejudiced one or the other. I can't tell you which, what the answer is. But, uh, you know, he's always had a great year. I mean, when he really should have played NC State game, he, that takes a point off whatever his average is. He just wanted to try it. We should have known not to even try it. But, you know, he's, he's been great all year. He's been great. Tremendous year. Jim, where have you seen Elijah develop defensively as well? You know, he's been, you know, he's been okay. I thought tonight it was one of his, his best efforts. He was helping, he was rebounding it. Uh, this was by far his best all-around game. He did a really, he was really good on defense. He, he did some great things down there. Some, some, some things you don't see. Our coverage, our coverage was much better than it's been. You know, I mean, Pittsburgh scored a lot of, they, they had, it was a three-point game in Syracuse. And we were up 16 or 18 and they, dominated us in the second half. So this was a really good effort. And, uh, you know, to lose Buddy like that, it's not that easy. He's been really steady for us. And, uh, you know, everybody else picked it up. It was a really good, it was a really good win. It's not that easy. I think we won five games on the road. That's hard to do in this league. Jim, uh, you know, your all's first game of the game took, took place about a month ago. I was curious. I was curious as a coach when you're facing them the, the second time and how much time has passed. How much do you take away from that first game? Well, you know, I mean, you learn from everything. You know, you try to learn from everything. Uh, you know, we want to, you know, try to contain their guards from the penetration and you know not let them get comfortable shooting. And when uh, Murphy's in there, you know, watch him. We did a great job on him. He made a bank. That's all he made. So, I mean, we did a good job with him. And, uh, you know, and Marama was different inside. That, that was really the difference in the defensive game. It was really his effort inside was uh, was really good, really good tonight. Is Marama getting better at rotating to the corners in the defense? Yeah, a little bit, but that's, that's not what we need. We need him to be better in the middle. That's what we need him to be better.